Hello, good people of the internet. My name is Shelly, and I enjoy renovating campers. I'm on my second renovation right now, and here I am sitting in my half-renovated camper. In this video, I will be showing you the process that I went through for the first half of this renovation. I'm renovating a 2017 Palomino Palomini. It's very brown. It's very, well, it's 20, from 2017, but the style is more like 2005. So let's update it and make it a little bit more fun and funky. First, I wanna show you my Pinterest inspiration board for this camper. One of my goals is to renovate this camper for only $500. Another of my goals is to not paint the cabinets. So in order to make that look good, I looked for pictures where the cabinets were brown. And mostly I was looking at pictures of kitchens where the cabinets were brown but the style still looked good. Obviously white cabinets are very in right now, so I wanted to find some inspiration for what might look good with a cool brown cabinet. And I came up with these sort of, kind of almost southwestern looking photos. But this photo right here is my main inspiration. I love the way this looks. I love the way the white looks with the different tones of wood and the the black and white all together. I just really like it. So this is my main inspiration photo right here. All right, let the renovation begin. First, I'm going to do one of the most satisfying and quickest parts of a renovation. I always do this first. Well, I've only renovated two campers, but I'm going to do it first for the second time, and that's remove the valences. The next step is to fill up all the little holes with putty and sand them down. So actually I sanded first, put the putty in, and then sanded again. And I did this around all of the windows because there's a lot of holes left over after those valences have been removed. After putting up a lot of newspaper and taping everything off, I got started with spray painting the kitchen faucet. Um, I've since learned that it's a good idea for uh, things that you're touching frequently to use a spray paint uh, primer first, but I did not know that uh, when I <laughs> painted this, so just random tip, don't uh, don't just spray it straight on there, use a primer first, but otherwise I think it turned out great. It really changes the look of it to have it be black like this. Now it's time to start painting. Here's the primer that I used, Bonds by Zinser. I hope I'm saying that right.
While I was waiting for the paint to dry, I decided to install the new cabinet hardware, which I got at my local hardware store, which is called Menards. Since the old hardware only had one hole, I used a drill to drill the second hole needed. And then I used a screwdriver to screw them in. And hardware for cabinets comes with the screws that you need in order to install them. I think that makes such a big difference. Looks so much more slick. Love it. Next, I'm tackling the backsplash. This part I'm really excited about because it makes such a huge difference visually in a camper to have a really fun, funky backsplash. Here's the tools I used. The straight edge is the most important part. First, you got to make sure the wall is nice and clean, so I cleaned it up with a damp cloth. Then you start doing your measuring and your cutting. I started in the corner, um, which is perhaps not the perfect way of doing it, and I also use a, what are these called? A box cutter, and I realized later that you can just use heavy-duty scissors, and that works a lot better, it's just a lot easier to use. And now here I am piecing together everything, hoping that it lines up nicely and, you know, mostly succeeding, but it certainly didn't turn out perfect. You really can't tell in photos, um, but if you peer at it closely in person, you can see a few parts where it overlaps a little bit, and the peel and stick grout is not perfectly the same width everywhere because of that tiny bit of overlap between some of the tiles. I'll have the products that I used linked below. I did get these peel and stick tiles from Amazon and I think they're nice and sticky and they have kind of a three-dimensionality to them and I liked them a lot overall. Now I'm cutting to size a little piece of plastic trim from the hardware store and caulking up the edges. I recently learned a trick to put a strip of painter's tape down before you start caulking so that you have a perfectly straight line. And don't forget to get your finger wet with soapy water um, as you're smoothing out your bead of caulk. Now I'm simply painting the countertop with Rust-Oleum Counter Paint. It is kind of a taupey color that I chose, and I don't remember the exact name of it, but there are only certain colors you can get, so this is the only taupey color available. This was pretty easy to do. It was sort of like painting anything else, where you paint the edges with a brush and then you go over the main areas with a roller. One tip I have is to get as small of a nap as you can on your roller because this paint's brush stroke marks are pretty obvious compared to other paints because it is so thick and try to get as close as possible to the edges with the roller because of those brush strokes. All right then, I guess we're about halfway done with renovating this camper. So I'm gonna stop this video right there and please stay tuned for my next video where I will be finishing up the renovation and I will be working on the little entryway. I'll be doing some wallpapering. I'll be doing the other half of the painting, the bed area, that sort of thing. So thank you so much for watching, bye.